little pinch. It's not that bad. It's nice and quick. Yeah, the clamp's got to be a little bit tight just to keep your skin nice and taut, right? That's what Right, just breathe in nice and deep. Take in one big deep breath and breathe out. And you're pierced. That wasn't too bad, was it? No. Nope. I feel like bad. I was overworking that. Hmm? That's usually the way that it is. You think it's going to be really, really awful. Said. You look so happy. <laughs> there you go. Yay! Nice little belly ring for you. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. So, do I, because I have back teen and Black, the black polysporum. That's exactly Cathy. what we use. Okay. All right. So make sure you clean that twice a day. All right. With the back teeth. So when I wake up and before I go to bed, is that good? Mm -hmm. okay. That's good. If it looks a little gross at any time, and it's you know, and you want to clean it off a little, you mm -hmm. can do that a third time. But I wouldn't go more, more than, than three times a day, just in case of drying. And use that polysporum to keep it nice and lubed up, yeah. and and the antibiotic, and you know all that. You know. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're so welcome. Hey guys, so yes, I got my belly button or my navel piercing. Um, I got it done June 25th, so it's been almost a month. And I wanted to wait until it was fully healed to make a video on it so it didn't look kind of weird because they look kind of weird for a while. But I'm sorry if um, it's really echoey in here. Um, this is the only place with good lighting in my house right now at this time of night. Um, which is my washroom, and you guys are on the toilet right now, so you're welcome. So I'm going to do the same procedure as I did with my industrial, can you shut up please? I'm going to do like the same procedure as I did with my industrial piercing, oh by the way I like pierced more in my whole thing than my whole day, yeah. So I'm going to answer some frequently asked questions about it, and then afterwards I'm going to show you some um, belly button rings that I have for it, and I probably will do like, if I get more I'll do like an updated, um, belly button ring collection but this is just the ones I have now so the first question was where did I get it done I got it done the same place I got my industrial piercing done which is at the tunnel in Alliston um, just really good there um quick backstory my friend got hers done recently like a couple maybe like two weeks after I got mine done she got hers done in Wasaga Beach and she hers was done for much less than mine and I'm like god damn it I should have waited and went there because uh, at the place that my friend went to they have a sale which is an amazing sale any piercing for $30 also I'm like any piercing like oh my god that's such an amazing deal I should have fucking waited for everything oh, my life. who was my piercer okay it's kind of bad but I forget her name it wasn't Lisa I think it was Kristen 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 I think it was Kristen I might I feel like I'm wrong. I don't remember her name, but she was filling in for Lisa that day, and I totally forget her name. I'm such a fucking lonely person. How much did it cost? It cost $50 to get it pierced. My friend, like I was saying earlier, she got hers done for $30, and I'm like, God damn it, I should have waited and went to a Sega Beach. Because, like, like I said, remember how I said that this one was, like, 120 Yeah, I could have got it done. Because this was actually $80. I could have got it done for $30 if I would have waited. Whatever. 
I'm an impatient teenager. Can't wait to do stuff. What do I use to keep it clean? So I used what I used for my industrial piercing. I use this antiseptic spray, Cobactine, and then I used the uh, black polysporin. Polysporin. But I also use, um, it's called the sea salt soak. And you get like sea salt. It can't be like table salt. It's got to be like sea salt. So I have pink Himalayan sea salt. Because I'm bleed like that. But um, I just got it from Ball Farm for like, this was like three bucks for this. Um, and I get warm water and I mix in the salt. You're supposed to do like a certain ratio, but I don't have time for that. But I mix in the salt like in warm water and then I get like a cotton round and I'll dunk it in the water and then I'll put it on my belly button piercing just to keep it clean. It was kind of infected for like a couple weeks, but it went away and it's doing really well now. So it's all cleared up. And the final and most asked question was how much did it hurt? So I'm going to be completely honest and say that it was the most painful piercing I've gotten, surprisingly. Because everyone always says, like, I was asked so much people who have, they're like, no, it's like a quick, like, pop. Like, you don't really feel it. Like, that's bullshit, in my opinion, because I felt that shit. Um, it, the most painful part, in my opinion, was actually the clamp. Because you had to, like, clamp it, like, really tight and pull it, which was really painful. And then it was, like, it kind of stung when she stuck the needle through. It really stung and it just hurt because she was like had the clamp on so tight. Um, and then when she was putting the um, jewelry like through the hole, oh my gosh, that was so painful too. <sighs> but yeah, on a scale of one to ten, it was probably like a. S I don't know. My scale changes quite often. Um, it was probably like an eight or a nine. In my opinion, it was pretty painful. It was it was pretty painful. So that was all the questions that I got. Um, so I'm gonna go over some jewelry that I got for my belly button piercing, and yeah, 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 fun. Mind my belly roll lines, but this piercing is the one that I got it pierced with, and it's a simple diamond and, like, a silver, silver, like, barbell. And it's just really simple, like, she asked me what color jewel I wanted, and I'm like, I just want, like, silver. So that's the one I got it pierced with, and it's just, like, really simple. And this one is a clear and black marble. And it's a banana hooked shape. And I got it for, it was a deal for like two for five dollars. And it looks like that. And it's clear and it's black marble. The next one I got was also part of that deal. And it's just like kind of, it's an opaque white. So you can kind of see through it, but you kind of can't at the same time. It's really pretty. I've actually worn this one. It's really pretty. And I really like it. This next one is just a plain silver ball on each side, like one of those bigger ones. Well, I had this one in for a while because it matched the theme of all my other piercings, because all my pe other piercings are just silver balls. And this one's smaller than a lot of belly button piercings, but it still worked for me. And it's stainless steel, and it's really cute, and I really like it. This next one is kind of hard for it to show up and see the real color of it, but it is like this rose quartz one I got from my mom. And it's like a regular size one. It's kind of hard for you to see the color because it kind of matches with my hand, but that's what it looked like. This one I got in a kit I ordered online. No, did I? No, I don't know where I got this one, but I probably will never wear this one because it's very, um, very big and it's a little anchor. It's blue jeweled and the top is just like a silver ball. It's really pretty, but I don't think I will ever wear it. I might, but that's what it looks like. And the final one is this one that glows in the dark, actually. Um, so I'll show you what that looks like, but it's just simple. It glows in the dark, so I'll show you what it looks like. And this is what it looks like when it's glowing in the dark. Cool, cool, cool. So that was it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it was in such a weird location, but I just had to film a video at night, so I don't have natural lighting for my window. So this is as good as it was going to get. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, please give it a like. And subscribe if you're not already subscribed because we we like it when you subscribe. So yeah, do that. It makes me feel very happy. And um, I will leave my social media links down below if you want to check them out. I got a new Snapchat and I made another new um, Instagram account. So I will leave those links down below. And that's it. So um, please remember to smile and stay strong for me. And I love you. So bye.